Backstage with Daniel Cormier, obviously a huge fight, Cormier event, UFC 173. When I had you on the radio show, you said, you know, Dan Henderson is the best guy that I've competed against in terms of the clinch. He just told me he's not going to give you that left leg when he sets up that right hand. You said he's not going to bother taking you down anyways. I mean, does this play into your mind, the different strategy, or have you done it all in the gym? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I've worked on all of it, you know what I mean? I've kind of, you know, I've dotted my I's and crossed my T's, man. I'm ready to go. You know, it doesn't matter if he doesn't give me his left leg. I'll take his right leg. You know, you want to fight Southpaw, that's fine. You know, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go find my takedowns. Um, I'm going to go fight where I want to fight. In terms of preparing for this fight here, takedowns are probably at a premium in terms of getting this guy and holding him down. We mm -hmm. saw some of the footage of him saying he's not going to keep me down. Mm -hmm. Do you beg to differ? Well, I believe I can hold anybody down. You know, once I get him in position, I, I think that um, if I can secure him, I can take him down and, and control him. You know, it's it's uh, it's it's what I would like to do um, at some point in the fight. Is it what I have to do? No. I mean, if we if we box for 15 minutes, I can box him for 15 minutes. In terms of giving respect where respect is due, he's a mixed martial arts legend. He's considered mixed martial arts royalty. When do you throw that away and say it doesn't matter who this guy is? Shut the door, referee, step out of the way. When does that happen? I mean, it has to start happening now, but on um, on Friday after the weigh-ins and, you know, all the handshakes and all that stuff's done. You know, we we got to get to business. You know, Dan, and I'm pretty sure Dan Henderson feels the same way. You know, we're going to get after it. We're going to try to take each other out, and it's going to be so much fun. You know, I know this dude is going to bring out the best of me. You mentioned that you don't want to compete after this fight unless, if, I mean, you emerge victorious, you want that mm -hmm. title shot. What if John and Alexander, what if there's an injury there? Do you, yeah. do you, do you start training when those guys start training? I mean, I think you have to, you know, because then that's your opportunity. You know, you start preparing as though you got to fight. Um, uh, ideally, you know, you don't want to take a championship fight on, on, a, on a whim or on, on anything else. Uh, but if that's the way it comes to be, then that's the way it comes to be. These, these title shots are, are very hard to get. You know, I've been doing this for almost five years now, so uh, you take it where you can get it. What is your perfect fight on Saturday night, that Hollywood ending? I beat Dan Henderson. Uh, you know, pick him. You know, pick him up after either he's exhausted from going too hard, or pick him up because I knocked him out or submitted him. Shake his hand and tell him thank you for bringing the best out of me, and I just move onward and upwards. You know, be the legend to become a legend. Thank you very much for your time. No problem. Thank you. There is Daniel Cormier taking on Dan Henderson, co-main event UFC 173 here Saturday night at the MGM.